In the summer of 1947, America was swept by a wave of UFO sightings. What started as a single pilot's claim quickly spiraled into a nationwide phenomenon, fueling speculation, fear and fascination that persists to this day. But what really happened in Roswell, New Mexico, and what exactly is the truth behind the infamous Area 51? Let's dive deep into the mystery that has captivated millions. It all began on June 24, 1947, when Kenneth Arnold, a private pilot, reported seeing nine shiny, fast-flying objects near a hill in Seattle. He described them as moving at an astonishing speed of 2,000 kilometers per hour. Within two weeks, reports of similar sightings flooded in from all across America. The media was abuzz, with headlines speculating about flying saucers and UFOs invading the skies. The sightings were so widespread that they even caught the attention of the military. Some speculated a connection between the UFOs and America's atomic sites, as many of these sightings were reported near areas where nuclear tests had been conducted. Then, on July 7, 1947, a rancher named Mac Brazel brought strange debris he had found on his property to the sheriff in Roswell, New Mexico. The debris included tinfoil, rubber and thin wooden beams. Unsure of what it was, Brazel wondered if it was connected to the UFO craze that had taken the nation by storm. This caught the attention of Colonel William Blanchard, the commanding officer at Roswell Army Airfield. The very next day, the base released a statement that stunned the world. They claimed to have recovered a flying disc. But just as quickly as the news spread, the military retracted the statement, insisting the debris was nothing more than remnants of a weather balloon. The media accepted this explanation and the public's interest waned. But was this really the end of the story? Fast forward to the late 1970s and the Roswell incident was back in the headlines. Rumors swirled about a UFO crash in the New Mexico desert, with some even claiming that alien bodies were recovered and secretly studied by the US military. At the center of these rumors was a mysterious, highly classified facility in Nevada known as Area 51. Area 51, a remote military base located in the middle of the Nevada desert, has been the subject of countless conspiracy theories. It was established during the Cold War, originally as a testing and development facility for top-secret aircraft like the U-2 spy plane and the SR-71 Blackbird. These aircraft were so advanced and operated at such high altitudes that they were often mistaken for UFOs. The CIA, keen to keep their operations secret, did little to dispel these rumors. In fact, they may have even encouraged them as a convenient cover for their activities. In 1989, a man named Bob Lazar further fueled the Area 51 mystery by claiming he had worked on reverse engineering alien technology at a site called S-4, near Area 51. According to Lazar, the US government had in its possession several alien spacecraft and was studying them to advance human technology. However, Lazar's credibility has been widely questioned. His claims of having degrees from prestigious institutions like MIT were debunked, and many experts believe his stories are fabricated. Yet despite the skepticism, Lazar's account has become a cornerstone of UFO lore. The intrigue around Area 51 reached a new height in 2019 when a Facebook event titled Storm Area 51, They Can't Stop All of Us, went viral. What began as a joke quickly turned into a global sensation, with over 2 million people pledging to storm the base in search of the truth. 
In the end, the event turned into a peaceful, albeit eccentric, gathering known as Alien Stock. Thousands showed up, not to storm the gates, but to celebrate their fascination with the unknown. The event was more of a party than a protest, and thankfully, it remained peaceful. So, what is the truth behind the Roswell Incident and Area 51? In 1994, the US government declassified documents revealing that the Roswell debris was actually from a top secret project known as Project Mogul, a nuclear surveillance balloon designed to detect Soviet nuclear tests. As for Area 51, it was indeed a hub for testing cutting-edge military technology during the Cold War. The so-called UFOs were likely experimental aircraft, not extraterrestrial visitors. But the government's secrecy and contradictory statements over the years have only added fuel to the conspiracy theories. Today, the US government has shifted its terminology from UFOs to UAPs, the Unidentified Aerial Phenomena, and has begun releasing more information to the public. Yet, the allure of the unknown continues to captivate our imaginations, and the legend of Area 51 and the Roswell Incident lives on. Whether you believe in extraterrestrial visitors or not, one thing is certain. The mysteries of Roswell and Area 51 are woven into the fabric of modern folklore. They remind us that in a world filled with technology and knowledge, there are still secrets waiting to be uncovered and questions that may never be fully answered. If you enjoyed this dive into one of history's most enduring mysteries, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more videos exploring the unknown. What do you think really happened at Roswell and Area 51? Let us know in the comments below.